the multinational aircraft manufacturer is giving its Zero-E project more H2 support. Airbus has opened a new Zero-E development center in state Germany for the purpose of hastening the progress of hydrogen tech, more specifically to develop composite hydrogen system technologies for storing and distributing cryogenic liquid H2. Airbus is no stranger to developing composite technologies, both in materials and manufacturing processes. Though it has long been a pioneer in Germany in this field, the focus for the Stade ZEDC is to develop cost-competitive lightweight hydrogen systems, such as a cryogenic hydrogen tank in composites. Establishing a composite-related ZADC in Germany strengthens our research and technology footprint in the country and ensures the involvement from the start of leading experts to support our decarbonization ambition, said Sabine Klock, Airbus Chief Technical Officer in a company news release. According to Airbus, the hydrogen tech development will cover the product and industrial capabilities. This includes elementary parts, assembly, manufacturing-related testing of the liquid H2 composite tanks. As for developing the liquid hydrogen tank, this will reportedly be coordinated with Airbus other national entities. Airbus Zero-E program, which was launched in 2020, is a project dedicated to developing a new series of hydrogen electric-powered aircraft, set to be operational by 2035. However, for these H2 planes to become a reality in as little over 10 years' time, the company must solve various technological challenges, including the handling and storing of liquid hydrogen on an aircraft. Airbus intends to do this by investing in hydrogen tech, the opening of the new ZADC facility is part of the company's commitment to do exactly that. Additionally, the ZADC in Stade has received support from public fundings and will be connected to the planned innovation and technology center Hydrogen located in northern Germany. The Zero-E Development Center in Stade is part of a network of development centers for technologies. The aim is to realize the potential of hydrogen tech and contribute to decarbonizing the highly polluting aviation industry. ZDEC will complement other Airbus activities from the company's other sites in Germany, France, Spain, and the UK, all with the goal of getting an H2-powered aircraft flying by 2035. The ZADC will benefit from the wider composite research and in a development ecosystem such as the Airbus subsidiary Composite Technology Center, the CFK Nord and Stade, as well as from further synergies from space and maritime activities, added clock. Thank you for joining me today. Don't miss our awesome new ebook. Make sure to hit subscribe and grab it now on the link below. Don't forget to leave us a comment. Thank you.